Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to download and use Explode, my little script from Maya that allows you to create fast and easy exploded versions of your models in order to achieve better baking quality. You can find the script under the storage section of my art session profile, or you can just click the link down below in the description. The script is completely free and you can also use it commercially. In order to download it, you just need to click on Add to Library. You can also find the script on gamrock.com, you just need to name a fair price, then click on I want this. Enter your email address and then click on get. To install the script, you need to go into your document folder, then Maya, your Maya version, scripts, and then drag and drop it. In order to add it to the shelf into Maya, you need to open your Maya scene, then grab your script, open it, in this case with Notepad, then select everything, so Control A and Control C to copy it, then open the script editor, paste it, select everything again with Ctrl A, and then hold the middle mouse button and drag and drop it into the shelf. Then right click, edit, click on shelves, tooltip, you can just insert whatever you want. In this case, I'm going to insert explode. And for icon label, I'm going to type again explode, then save all shelves. And you see we have explode correctly saved in our shelf. To use Explode, we just need to follow some basic rules. Click on the Explode button to read them. If you don't see these rules, click on the How To arrow. The first thing we need to do is adding a suffix to the meshes that we want to process. In this case, we need to add LP and HP for the low poly meshes and the high poly ones. Let's start from the high poly ones. Select the high poly meshes, click on Modify, search and replace names then type dollar sign and replace with underscore hp click on replace you'll see that every high poly mesh will have an underscore hp suffix then do the same for the low poly ones select the low poly meshes click on modify search and replace names search for dollar sign replace with underscore lp then click on replace you'll see that now every low poly mesh will have an underscore LP suffix. Since the script works with naming, we need to make sure that for every low poly mesh, we have a high poly counterpart, meaning that for every low poly mesh in the low poly group, we have an high poly counterpart with the same name. The suffix will be different, but we just need to make sure that the first part matches. If you don't do this, every mesh that doesn't match will be left as 000. The third step is launching the script which we already have. And then we need to select the meshes to process without selecting any group. To do this, you just need to make the groups visible and then drag select the meshes. If you do this, you'll see that the group's color is different from the mesh color. Type a value in the text field to define the distance between the meshes. In this case, I'll go with 1.1 and click on the explode button. You'll see that the model has been correctly exploded and every low poly piece will match the high poly counterpart better see this just assign a different material in this case I have a number 2 colored in red and you'll see that every mesh matches you can also work with different groups in this case I have a low poly exploded and one named I poly exploded you'll see that the name does not match but still select the meshes and make sure that they have the suffix and every mesh has its own counterpart then click on the explode script, type a value, click on the bottom, and you can also dynamically change this value by just reselecting the meshes and change the distance. You'll see that the distance will be updated whenever you change it. At the moment, explode just created the explosion in the X axis but in the future, there will be support for Y and Z axis too. You can also modify the code to better fit your needs.